Hi everyone. I created a new jewelry collection. In the last months, with all the uncertainty we experienced, I personally felt hesitant, destabilized and like floating. I'm sure many of you can relate. It's like the feeling you get on a hot day when you see the horizon line shaking and blending into the sky. It's like seeing the circles drawn at the surface of the water by the stone you just threw into it. The circles are not really there, but they're an illusion, a mirage. I call this project Mirage, to remember the feeling that was the starting thought, the, the impulse for this collection. I decided to take that uncertainty and turn it into something pretty. And it remained my obsession <laughs> throughout the design process. It would not leave me alone. Contrary to my previous collection, I kept the process a secret until today. Today is the day when I tell you more. The recurring shape that you will certainly recognize is a circle, but not a perfectly round or smooth circle, because when you drop a stone into the water, the circles you're creating are actually oval, irregular, creased, and textured. You will see facets that are hand polished to be uneven. And the fact that the facets seem random results in this unique texture, which you wouldn't get if you were just taking the piece out of a standardized mold. The way it's done here involves a lot of handcrafts. The collection is composed of seven different designs. Each design is available in solid silver, silver plus gold plating, and silver plus rose gold plating. That's 21 pieces in total. Silver is ideal if your skin is cool. Gold is perfect if your undertone is warm, and rose gold is for you if your undertone is neutral, so in between. Which also means that you can absolutely pair silver and rose gold, or gold and rose gold. At the time of filming this video, I have the silver prototypes with me, but in the coming days and weeks, you will see more photos of gold and rose gold appearing on both my website and my Instagram. Let me show you the design. First, the statement earring. This one looks like you're wearing a line, when it's in fact a full hoop. You put the open end on and turn it until you reach the vertical bar. Or you put it in from the back and then the vertical bar will end up behind your ear. You can choose. It's practically a two-in-one earring. You see it is big but not heavy. This will not pull your earlobes down. The surface on the outside is voluntarily uneven to kind of break the perfection of the full circle. Then come the studs. Shiny on the outside, matte on the inside. It's a shape that is very rounded, harmonious, and yet asymmetrical. I think this is a statement stud that really attracts people's attention, but it still fits on the earlobes. Now I'm wearing one of each, <laughs> so you can see the proportions compared to my face, but obviously this one comes as a pair, and this one comes as a pair as well. The statement ring, as I call it. <laughs> this one goes very well with the studs. I was talking about circles in water earlier, somehow they literally ended up on the rig in this collection. <laughs> it is a large piece and yet very, very light, very airy. Again, asymmetrical. This one took quite a few loops in 3D design until we got the shape right, but then the execution, I think, went just fine. It looks gorgeous. It's my new favorite ring. This one is a bit smaller. 
nicely faceted on the thicker side here at the top. You can wear it like this with the opening at the bottom for the geometrical look, or you can turn it around like this to show the opening on top of the finger. You could also stack a second one upside down on top of this one to make more of a statement. All the rings come now in not four, but six different sizes. So you can choose on which finger you want to do that. This ring goes well with the ear cuff, where you also see the facets here at the top. The illusion here is that people will believe that you're wearing a cuff and then a piercing underneath, when in fact there's no piercing <laughs> and it's all one piece. One note, because this is a prototype, the ear cuff on this looks quite tight. It wouldn't fit everyone's ear. So for production, before we start production, we have fixed this and extended the circumference of the cuff to make sure that it fits for everyone. Then this delicate ring here. You see the surface is uneven and faceted, just like the first earrings you saw, therefore an easy logical pairing. Actually, this ring is also perfect as a knuckle ring, worn on the second phalanx instead of the third one. So I'm going to offer it in six different sizes, but smaller sizes, so that you could wear one here, one here, and one here, for instance. I feel like one is not enough and you would wear more than one which is why I'm also going to offer sets of three where you get one size, one size, one size so that they work on all your fingers. Last but not least, <laughs> at one point I got carried away and I thought, what about taking this perfect circle, giving it an impulse to break the shape and then turn the results into a necklace. This is not a machine made necklace like most chain necklaces you would find on the market. Each one of these links is hand polished. <laughs> if you look at it from the side, they're not flat. They're actually broken, so to speak. They're, they're twisted here. The closure is a toggle closure because that looks so good when you're wearing your hair up and your neck is free. This is a little silver plate as well with the initials JL on it. And this design here will be a limited edition. That's the collection. Now let's talk a little bit about the materials because that's a very important topic for me. The silver that we use throughout the collection is exclusively sterling silver, 100% certified recycled, which is the highest standard in terms of quality and sustainability. For the gold plating, we do not use vermeil, which varies between 10 carat and 18 carat. We use 24 karat gold, which is pure gold. You can tell the difference when you look at it. The gold looks more intense, deeper, a little bit more orange. That's the real color of gold. Each ring comes in six different sizes. All of them are heavy plated. That's the official term. It means a three micron thick layer of plating instead of the regular one or two microns normally used for plated jewelry. Three microns means a lot more resistant without losing any of the detailing on the facets. The production is entirely in Europe, in the south of Germany, to be precise. It's a region with incredible know-how in gold and silver smithery. And by having my production there, I make sure that it is ethical and that the people making the pieces are treated ethically and fairly. I do not outsource to Thailand, India or anywhere else. Not even a part of the production, nothing. Everything happens in Germany. I'm telling you this because you have the right to know where what you purchase is produced. Brands that produce ethically will never have an issue being transparent. <laughs> but all these high standards that I mentioned now don't mean that the collection will be out of reach. I want people to be able to wear my designs. So I make sure that I maintain affordable prices, which is possible because this collection is not a collaboration. It's directly from me to you. There's no intermediary. When you see this video, the collection will be live on my website, justinlecomte.com. Here is how we're going to proceed. The production for this collection is starting very soon, which means that if you place your order now without waiting, you're sure that your pieces will be produced and shipped on time for Christmas, no matter where in the world you are, and we deliver to all continents. To be even more precise, shipping starts at the end of November. We'll do first the countries outside of Europe, then Europe. No matter where you are, as soon as your order ships, you will get a notification with a tracking number for your parcel. 
why are we proceeding like this? Because the atelier has a limited production capacity. <laughs> and I would like to avoid being out of stock immediately for a design, a metal, color, or a size. By pre-ordering the pieces you want now, basically you make sure that you get them. <laughs> we could do another production later, but this will mean next year. This collection is not made to order. There will be a defined inventory, and when it's out, it's out. So if you are liking something that you saw in this video and you're thinking of Christmas, please do not wait. If you have any question on the collection, please write a comment down below. Do also tell me what your favorite design is, because I have clear favorites, but I'd like to know what you think. This collection has been my secret for a very long time. Now, it's all yours. Take care.